Hi guys, Lisa asked me to do a couple of exercise videos for you so that you can fit exercise into your daily routine. I know there's a lot of working from home these days, virtual Zoom meetings, phone conferences, things like that. So these two videos that I'm making for you are going to be short and sweet, uh, efficient, working multiple muscles at the same time. The first video will be legs and core. The second video will be arms and balance. So um, I have a couple of guidelines to keep in mind as you're going through these exercises. Always make sure that you maintain proper form, so good posture, drawing your belly button in to protect your back and your joints. Use your muscles to control the movement. Breathe, always breathe, never holding your breath, and making sure that you do your exercises purposefully, mindfully. So in other words, not just getting your exercises over with as one more thing you gotta do, but rather making sure that you take the time, like this is the time for you, let's make each one of them count. So let's go ahead and start with legs and core. You've got your weights, your hand weights, and your exercise band that's next to you. And also I want you to get a towel. So this is a medium sized towel. Probably I could have gone a little bit bigger just to make it a thicker towel roll. Um, so just whatever's available to you and then using a firm surface chair, one that doesn't have wheels. We need it to be nice and sturdy. First one is gonna, um, gonna be sit to stand drills. So basically squats on the edge of the chair. You're gonna squeeze the towel in between your thighs so that you get that inner thigh workout as you're doing this exercise. So hips are scooted forward, good base of support through the feet. We're gonna put the hands right here so that we ensure that the legs are doing all of the work. Now, draw your belly button in and up, and as you stand up, I want you to think about uh, pressing through the heels of your feet. So here we go, we're gonna stand up, drawing the belly button in the whole time, and I want you to repeat this about 10 to 15 times. So it really depends on you know, your time availability. You get to decide how much time you have and how many reps you need to do. So this is the first set. So after about 15, I'm gonna let the towel go. And then I'm going to get grab an exercise band. So I'm gonna go with a light band and I'm gonna place it around my thighs. So this one we're gonna do very similarly. It's another set of sit to stand squats. However, it's gonna have a wider base of support because we want this resistance working the muscles on the outside of the hips. Hands together, belly button drawn in. Go ahead and stand up, pressing the heels of the feet, drawing your belly button in, breathing. And we're just gonna repeat this second set of sit to stand drills. So again, you get to determine how many you do. I would recommend 10 to 15. And after that, let's say this is number 15. I'm gonna take a rest, take a breather. I'm gonna keep the exercise band on because the next thing I'm gonna do is side steps. So coming into a mini squat position, so knees are slightly bent, good posture, so torso is centered, hands are on the hips here, the feet and the knees are facing forward, okay? So you wanna lead, almost think about leading with the heel. A lot of times we wanna rotate this direction, but that's cheating and it's making it too easy for you. So hips, knees and feet facing forward, mini squat position, drawing it in and up, and we're just gonna walk side to side. So on this one, you're gonna repeat this. I would go by time here, probably about anywhere from two to five minutes. Again, depending on how much avail availability you have. And of course, we're short on space here, but at home, you can make it a longer lap. And um, you know, after a while, you're gonna really start to feel the burn in the outside of the hips, which those are really important because they help to stabilize our back and our knees. All right, so that is the next exercise. And then finally, keeping the TheraBand where it's at, again, you can choose um, a more resistant band if you need to. I'm gonna have you stand up, hands together or to the side. You can even add some dynamic arm movement to make it a little more challenging, but we're simply gonna do heel raises. Now, the trick here is to make sure that when you come down, you lower down slowly, okay? Because the body has a tendency to want to just come straight down, but the trick is to control it. And so I'm gonna raise the heels up, and then I'm gonna lift the toes. So we're working the muscles on the 
back of the cat, the lower legs and also the front of the lower legs with those toe lifts. And again, you can do this by time as well. Um, I would say anywhere from one to three minutes. If you wanna make it more challenging, again, you can add some dynamic arm movement here. You can raise one arm up, the other arm forward. So just making it your own exercise, adding challenge wherever you see fit. You can even close your eyes. Okay, so that's one good way to challenge yourself. All right, and then we'll take this off. So again, those are the basic exercises that I want you to do. Again, you can add number of repetitions. You can change up the degree of resistance. Um, don't, I would say, start out slowly and progress slowly. Again, I mean, there's, there's short, efficient sets of exercises, but you know, don't get ahead of yourself. Take it one step at a time. We're gonna finish with a few stretches. So um, the first one you're gonna do, you can use the chair for balance. We're gonna stretch out the muscles in the front of the thighs and the hips, okay? So these muscles right here. Now, um, if you look here, notice my knees are together. So um, a lot of times people do this exercise like that and it's really actually like this. And then again, if your balance is a little off, you can use your chair to help you. So I would hold each stretch. I would breathe deeply three to five breaths and then switch sides. Three to five breaths. So again, my knees are together. I'm squeezing the thighs together and I'm actually pressing my hips a little bit forward so that I get that hip flexor stretch. This is important with all the sitting that we're doing. They do have a tendency to get tight and then that can pull on your back and pull on your knees. So we want to make sure that we're stretching out these hip flexors. So after three to five breaths, I'm going to have a seat. I'm going to take my towel and switch out the folds here so that it's long. I'm going to place it around the ball of the foot. I'm going to straighten out the knee so you can have the heel rested on the ground or you can lift it up. But um, the purpose here is to pull the foot back as you stretch your hamstrings. And then again, breathe deeply in and out, three to five breaths. Switch sides. Again, good posture, shoulders down. Pulling that foot back, breathing deeply, three to five breaths. And then you can release the towel down. The last stretch looks like this, to stretch out the muscles that worked on the outside of the hips that worked really hard for us today. So you're crossing one ankle on the opposite knee, sitting up nice and tall, breathing. Now, if you're really tight in the hips, you're gonna look like this, and that's okay. You know, just do it gently. Um, if you have any discomfort in your knee at all, you can flex that foot to protect it, and you can actually cradle that knee for support. So hold for three to five breaths, switch sides. Here we are on the other side, but it's flexed, support the knee as you need, good posture, breathing, and there you have it. That's your first video.